All right, I wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, Tyler's doing the camera work. Hi. There's Deacon, he's our farm dog. He's decided to kill stuff while we're doing the video. Right here we have some carrots, um, just in a raised bed. Not many, but we had some seeds and we thought that that would be really good soil for it. And we finally got this finished. You guys saw it when it was about halfway done. Let me tell you, that was hard work. That's hard work by hand. We did it with a mattock and hose and rakes. I mean, it was, it doesn't look very big, but trust me. And this thing, that thing, that really did a really good job. But we have bush beans from about here up. And down here we have collard greens. I was at work when he planted this stuff, so I don't know where anything is. Um, we also planted a few more squash plants in here. And those squash have a lot of new growth on them and some blooms coming. So hopefully the, even the old squash plants will get a little bit more off of. Over here, we are going to work this up with the mattock too, uh, just kind of around the plants. But back there, I planted a couple okra plants and a couple more squash. Right but there. All this we're going to work up and try to put some cabbage and some more collards over here probably about out to here tomorrow i'm mowing in the backyard to get it looking a little bit better right there where those really high weeds are that's where we decided to put the hog pen and we're probably going to be getting those in a couple weeks i had thought about waiting until spring but some people on facebook and a couple other groups said that they do really well if you raise them through the winter because apparently hogs don't like heat he knew that but at any rate we're doing that and this winter we're going to work on building a chicken coop over here but friday we have five royal palm turkeys that we're going to get they're poults they're really small so we're going to take you down here and i don't know how well it'll show up on the camera because it's starting to get kind of twilight but we're going to show you an old chicken coop that I had that will serve for the turkeys. So we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so this is the part that we're going to use as a big coop for the turkeys. That's it. All this down here, and I don't know if you can see the fence line. This is maybe a quarter of an acre. And this used to be a goat pen. And so the fence is still in really good shape. And we thought about using it maybe for hogs to the lower electric fence i don't know that's kind of a future thing but i'm sure we'll use it for something but that's a really really big barn down there and it's got wire across the front i know you can't see that but i have a door that's going to go over that little open spot and so there's already perches and everything in there i've used that for everything from chickens to peacocks to pigeons and it's tight enough to where raccoons and stuff, I've never had any problem with anything in there. The only thing I have had problems with is when I had the pigeons, I had some snakes to get in there. But um, So we're gonna do that Friday. So if we don't do another update video before then, then we'll definitely do it Friday and show you that. And then probably Saturday, I'm gonna go and start getting the hog wire to make the hog pen. So we'll give you an update on that too. I've been looking up some stuff. If you have any suggestions, if you've kept hogs, we're gonna get the pre-made hog panels. So uh, everybody's pretty much been unanimous with that. So let us know if you've raised hogs, what you found to be really, really good and what didn't work so great. But we'll let you know. We'll show you when we get some new stuff. So the reason y'all don't ever see me is because I'm still learning all this stuff and he knows what he's talking about and I don't so I wouldn't give you false information if I don't know what I'm talking about. Isn't that right? He would never lie to you. Well never. <laughs> Peace.